end of the day, I showed you a bunch of exercises you could do with that Swiss bar. Now it's a lot of pushing motion, and I know you guys out there love to bench press, love to overhead press, love to bench press, and love to bench press, okay? What you're neglecting is that posterior chain, everything inside uh, your back. You don't see in the mirror. Anything you don't see in the mirror is usually very neglected in the world of fitness. So, making sure to get extra reps in there. Whenever I do a bench press, I like to do inverted rows, some pull-aparts, maybe some W's, and I'll show you those really quick, okay? Making sure you do rows as a couplet during your workout not only burns extra calories or adds on good muscle, it protects your shoulders and it makes you uh, be able to work out longer and makes you be able to work out for, for a longer period of time. Because if you guys don't save those shoulders and develop that posterior chain, your workouts are going to be very limited and soon enough you're going to tear something, hurt something, and you're not going to enjoy working out and everything from being injured has a negative spiral. Trust me, I've been there, injured myself a thousand times. So I'm going to show you a couple movements that I always love to do. After that Swiss bar we went into it, I'm going to show you an inverted row version that I use that for. So I usually put it down to my bench press. Say I'm done bench pressing. All I'll do is I'll move that bench out of the way. I'll creep up right underneath the Swiss bar. Elbow's going to be nice and tight here, okay? Biggest thing you don't want to do is keep those legs bent. I want full engagement of the abs. Hips are locked out, squeezing my glutes. Abs are tight and fired. Now I'm going to bring my elbows up. Big pull, walk my feet to wherever it's comfortable. Pull up, neutral grip, keeping those shoulders nice and safe. Once I get a good flow, and I know I'm pinching my upper back and engaging my lats and my trunk, then I'm gonna start flowing to this motion. If I did 10 reps of bench press, I'm gonna do 10 to 15 reps of pull. That's how I do inverted rows to really supplement my posterior chain. If you do have a TRX or a suspension rope or machine or any of those TRXs, I can also put a link of that down below and check that out if you need one. And I always add these into it. So it's either Swiss bar row or neutral grip, inverted rows on my suspension. If you don't have any equipment, here's a perfect example. I do this on uh, episode four, was W's. You could go down to your knee, engage your abs, fire in this leg here. It's not just resting, I'm keeping it planted. Squeeze my hamstring, squeeze my cod, quads, my glutes are firing, and now what I'm going to do is pull my elbows down hard, big reach, pull my elbows down. And I quoted, I reach up towards the clouds, and I'm trying to pull the clouds down to me. Big reach up top, trying to pull those clouds down to me, engaging those lats and squeezing everything I got, especially those hands. Okay, hope you enjoyed that tip of the day. I'll see you guys later. This is Pete from bestfilipinotrainers.com.